In this video, we will be comparing the multifunctional timer version 7 and version 8. Version 7 was released a couple of years ago and was proven to be popular between hobby and industrial users. We listened to your feedback and released the next generation of the timer. Version 8. If you used version 7 before, then this video would help you to identify the major differences between the versions. We are not going to cover the features and programming procedures for the older version. Instead, we will highlight the new or change functionality in the new version 8. First, the major differences are in the programming. The new version uses just a single wire for the programming, the white wire. Universal Programmer is required to program the new version 8, which can be purchased separately. The programmer provides several new exciting features. First of all, all the parameter changes are done via a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. The smartphone is connected directly via Wi-Fi to the programmer, and all the configurations are maintained via a user-friendly web interface. This new programming method eliminates the ambiguity of the configuration experienced with the older versions. It also allows configuring long timing duration with ease. Secondly, the programmer can now flash a new timer's firmware, update the timer functions, and load a custom-created functionality. The programmer could help you to troubleshoot the trigger configuration, displaying the trigger readings right on the screen. The programming and testing of the timer can be done right on the bench with the timer connected to the programmer. No external power supplies are required. If you did not have a chance yet, please watch the timer programming video with the link provided in the description. Another major difference is the new version of the timer holds just a single function, instead of holding all the available functions, like the older version. Since the loading of a new function is now a simple task, holding a single function allocated more timer's memory for the firmware. It would allow us to create more complex functions in the future. On the outside, the timer is very similar to the older version. If not for the new label, you will not be able to tell them apart. The 10 amp version is now shrunk and is the same dimensions as the 5 amp version. The sequence of the color wires is thought different between the 5 and the 10 amp versions. Since only one wire is used for programming the green wire was converted to an additional trigger. At the moment we don't have any functions using both triggers, but it might change in the future. To summarize, the electrical parameters are the same. The main difference is the programmer is required to program the timer. And the 10 amp version is now the same size as the 5 amp version. For a more detailed dive into the timer's functions, trigger use, programming, and common application, please click on the links provided in the description of this video. As always, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified of new videos and news.